cup is going to be for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and North Node for Leo here. So, Leo, you, you're in a very satisfying connection here. Okay? I feel like you and your person are solid. And it's people that are that's irritated and mad because you're in a relationship. For, so, for somebody here, you're already in a relationship with somebody and you and your person solid. Okay? Can't nobody come between y'all. Can't nobody break that down. Can't nobody break that up. Y'all here with it. Like, y'all on one accord. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody just say anything about your person. Can't nobody tell your person anything about you. Can't nobody tell you anything about your person. Like, y'all... It's a solid relationship with the strength was poking out here. And somebody's mad about it. They're irritated. Somebody's mad because you have true love or somebody that loves you and you love them. Okay. That's sweet. Okay, that's sweet. This is going on. <clears throat> I see they don't want me to say that. <laughs> that's sweet. That's what's up. Let's see what's going on. For Leo. So I'm rise of Venus and North Node for Leo. Some will rise if it's a north note. I just want to tell everybody to take a moment to just thank God for, you know, your blessing. Show gratitude for the things that you already have. Because when you show God gratitude and you're thankful for the things that you already have, he will bless you with more and bless you more abundantly, right? Be thankful that you have a roof over your head. Be thankful that you have food to eat. Be thankful that you have money in your pocket. Be thankful you have somewhere to get around, transportation, you know, whatever. Just be thankful for the clothes in your back. You know, just be thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful. That's all I can say. You know, in this world, the economy and inflation, um, prices skyrocketing, things are terrible um, all around the world. Um, but for you to still be surviving and God getting you by, you having breath in your body, just breath in your body alone is a blessing because people are leaving this world every day. So just you being this temple, that you being able body, that you having another chance, another day of hope is a blessing. So let's say thank you now to the most high. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your ever everlasting love and support. Thank you for support, supporting me, um, believing in me. Just thank you so much. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Leos. And we have the Queen's of the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. So there could be a Queen of Pentacles that's in their head about you. A Queen of Pentacles that's nervous here. This could be um a Virgo. Okay. This could be a mother figure. Okay. That's, that's nervous or in their head here, okay? And we have the two of wands with the um, five of wands here. So there's conflict here, okay? So there's challenges here. So there's some sort of challenges, um, okay? Some sort of challenges here. Let's see what's going on here. Or somebody made a choice. It came right back out. Wow. Two of Wands. So somebody made a choice. So somebody chose a Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this could be a Virgo, like I said. Um, somebody made a choice. They chose someone, or you chose this person. Whatever. Put put the roles where it fit. But somebody made a choice, and it was nothing but conflict. It's nothing but arguments, petty stuff going on, debacles. You know, um, just a lot of conflict here. Okay. What a choice that was made. Okay, then we have the Queen of Swords. What else going on for Leo Sun? Move out to Venus so no, for the collective. For the collective here. Okay. So this is definitely something about a choice. Somebody is being called to choose. Somebody being is somebody's being called to make a choice. With the two of ones and the lovers, the lovers can also represent a choice here. Somebody is being called to choice being called to make a choice. And also could be somebody's aunt or their sister here telling them to choose or telling them to make a choice or who they think will be the best choice for them. Okay, there could be a Gemini involved here. Okay. There could be a Libra here involved as well. Okay. So somebody is being called to choose or somebody's being called to make a choice. Let's see what's going on here. What else for my um Leos? So we have the just the justice here. Wow. Libra energy with the justice here. So the justice, you know, that's justice, that's karma, that's accountability, that's law, integrity. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So six of cups. Okay. So there's justice in regards to something that happened in the past with the six of cups here. Okay. Yeah, something definitely about the past. 
So there's there's balance being brought to a situation. So there's balance being brought into a situation. Something that's balancing out in regards to something that happened in the past here. To a past situation. Okay. Definitely here. There's a judgment being made here. Okay. We got the Ace of Cups. Okay. So there is a balance being brought to a situation here. There could be a mother figure. Your mother could want to make something right with you because I'm seeing this two different ways. There could be a mother here that wants to make something right with you here, okay, that they've been thinking about. Somebody's have, somebody has heavily been thinking about the past, whatever happened, whatever transpired between you guys. There is a mother figure here that wants to reconcile something or they want your forgiveness in regards to something that happened in the past here with that judgment of Ace of Cups. It's like one of somebody's forgiveness here. I'm also seeing this is somebody that um you could be in family court. Okay, there could be something going on in family court in regards to kids here. Some type of family court here with the six of cups. That's ki that's children. They give me kids, some sort of child or children. So there's some there's some sort of family court situation that somebody is going through or somebody is in. This could be you or your person. So somebody's in some sort of family court here in regards to children. I feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you or, or they want your forgiveness here. Okay, Will of Fortune. Um, I got who else? I got this. I got. I think I got something in regards to, um, this in Scorpio reading. You may want to check out Scorpio reading as well. I think I got something in uh, something about children or something like that, or court in regards to Scorpio reading as well. You may want to check that out here. There may be some significance there. Okay, yeah, that yeah that um info wanting to come out. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So with the moon here, I feel like somebody is also trying to look up something in regards to your birth chart or somebody's looking up something regarding your destiny or your birth chart here, but they're doing this in secret. That could be a heavy Virgo that's trying to look into your birth chart or look into your, your, your destiny or somebody trying to get access to your Akashi records. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Okay. So some, yeah, it's like somebody's trying to find out something, something that's hidden in regards to your destiny here. <sighs> but something is hidden. It's not for them to see. What's going on here? Yeah, because somebody's trying to be strategic. I feel like somebody is trying to steal something when it comes to your destiny here. Something that's destined to happen. Somebody's trying to steal something. Okay. It can even be like, yeah, somebody's trying to lie. They're trying to be very strategic. Somebody's very calculated. Somebody's definitely trying to play. I feel like somebody's trying to look up something in regards to your destiny, your birthright, something that's due to you. They're trying to find a way to steal something from you here. Okay, they're trying to find a way to steal something in regards when it comes to your future. This can even be in regards when it comes to a partnership or a lover. Okay. Pathetic. They just say empathetic. Okay. Okay. What's going on with the page of wands? Okay, so somebody wants to bring some sort of offer here. Okay, so I definitely feel like somebody wants to reach out to you. Somebody's making a choice to reach out to you. They want to speak with you. They want to talk to you. This is somebody who wants to bring an offer to you. They want to, yeah, they want to put in the work. They want to invest. Yeah. I feel like somebody is trying to figure out why you're silent or how to heal a situation with you. Yeah. Somebody's also wondering what you know as well. What you're being quiet about, what you're keeping silent about, what do you know? You could be in some sort of psychic download here as well. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I feel like somebody is, is, is attacked. Somebody wants to make something hard on you. I feel like somebody's also getting tired of waiting. The silence is killing them or something like that. They're getting tired of waiting. Somebody wants to rush in with the knight of with the knight of swords. They want to rush in. 
Yeah, this could be a queen, a queen of cups. That's attacking this king of cups. I don't know what it's your energy. No one really out here, um, Leo. Somebody got a whole bunch. Of, somebody got a whole bunch going on. There could be a Virgo somewhere that's trying to steal your destiny or trying to take something from you. This could be like a lover, something that belongs to you. Okay. And then you have a king, a queen of cups over here that's attacking this king of cups. That could be like a cancer, a cancer or Pisces that's attacking this Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what what's this what's this um yeah this person got conflict whoever this Scorpio is they got conflict in their they got conflict um in their life there's somebody that they're working with with the three of pentacles <clears throat> it's like a group setting or um at their work at their job there's conflict here with this part this person has in their life there's some sort of drama here I feel like there's somebody that this person is working with or people or, or these group of people they're clashing. Yeah, they could they could have been working with this Queen of Cups. So this Scorpio could have been working with this Cancer or this Pisces, and these people are clashing. There's drama. Okay, this person, whoever this is, this Cancer or this Pisces is, this this person is worried. They're worried about something being exposed, about them paying somebody, paying somebody to off somebody here to 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 end somebody. Somebody paying somebody. It's like a hitman, like a hitman job. Somebody could have paid somebody to kill a person. This period with the Ten of Swords. That could have been like a can <laughs> Yeah. And this this Cancer, this Pisces actually could have paid somebody to off this Scorpio. To do something to this Scorpio to cause some sort of conflict. To have this person jumped or attacked. Mm. It definitely was paid. Like something about a paid hit. With the Six of Pentacles, somebody's paying for somebody to, to betray somebody. Somebody paid somebody to betray somebody or end them to do something to them. Okay. I don't know what's going on over here, but it ain't got nothing to do with Sean. Okay. Because I feel like somebody's wondering who somebody's taking the offer to. Yeah. Then we got the um four so the four ones over here. Okay. And then somebody over here is saying something about somebody who has a peaceful home or somebody who has a beautiful home here. With the Empress and the um, Four of Wands. Yeah, with the Empress and the Four of Wands, you have a beautiful home with the Four of Wands here. Your home is very beautiful. It's very peaceful. You're very elegant. <laughs> okay? You're coming out of... You're, there's some sort of positive changes that's happening in your life here. You're recovering for some, from something here. <laughs> okay? So, the Magician and the Eight of Swords... Okay, so somebody was trying to manifest something or doing some sort of, ugh, okay. Buying the work or keep somebody stuck. Whatever somebody doing right here with this magician and the eight of swords, there's a sudden tower. Somebody is shook. Somebody is shocked or shook. There's, there's a tower here. Scorpio energy here. Yeah, something backfires. Yeah, I feel like you want to come in in reverse. Yeah, something is returning. So somebody's trying to send send some sort of spiritual warfare. It's being returned. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody's sending some sort of negative energy here with the devil. It's being returned here. This is definitely something about a mother figure here. Or this is what somebody could have been doing to you. Somebody could have been trying to get you to be in poverty or, or or had you struggling or affected your finances in some way. They did something here and you're recovering from this. You're recovering or you're bouncing back from something with the four ones. And like you, you could be doing something, some sort of spell work. You're returning something back. Yeah, somebody was sending you some sort of negative energy here. Yeah, somebody is jealous. Somebody is definitely just, yeah, you could be like, okay, you can have like a beautiful home. You're at peace.
somebody is speaking somebody is speaking ill on you or they're saying something you got the queen of wands with the hierophant you're protected and then you got the five of swords somebody is jealous of you see how they looking at you the five of swords looking at the queen of wands and the hierophant mm. you're protected though somebody trying to send you some sort of negative energy but you're highly protected with the higher plan. You could be spiritually high ranking here. You have some sort of ranking in the spiritual realm. You, you could be like a teacher of some sort. Okay. You're looked up to with the higher font. I feel like somebody hates the way that you're viewed or the way that you're seen. You could be somebody that's respected or I'm not even because I'm not really getting married. I feel like you're I feel like you're somebody that's by yourself. You just have some sort of integrity. Whatever somebody trying to send towards, it could be a Gemini, a Gemini doing this, but something is backfiring. It could be a Gemini doing this, a, a Capricorn or a Scorpio. This is Five of Swords. It's all this. It's a whole bunch going on here. Yeah, they're trying to get you to walk away from something here. So there's something that you're doing. You could be, like I said, you could be, you are higher font. The higher font could be somebody traditional or somebody who holds a lot of knowledge, somebody who's high ranking, somebody who's respected. You have some sort of belief system here. Um, I feel like somebody's trying to get you to walk away from something. Somebody wants you to conform to their belief system or what they believe. Somebody wants you to conform or something like that. That's what I'm getting. They want you to walk away, but they're going to be forced to walk away. They're trying to get you to walk away from something. Something that you do, um, it's like people could look up to you in some way with the Hierophant. The Hierophant, because you see how these two people are down at the Pope, at the Pope knees, looking up to this person. You could be somebody that help people in some way. And I feel like there's people, there's somebody over here that trying to get you to walk away from something. Okay. It's a whole lot going on. So you got a Virgo over here. I'm going to break this down. So you got a Virgo over here that somebody could be in family court with. Okay. Who's looking up, trying to look into your destiny, look into your birth chart, trying to find a way to steal your partner or this high level soulmate or something like that from you. And then you got somebody here that over here that wants to bring you an offer with the Knight of Cups. Okay. And this could be a Scorpio that wants to bring you an offer here, but there could they could be attached to some sort of Queen of Cups, a Cancer, or Pisces that's attacking them, that's trying to make cause some sort of conflict or make some hard, okay, that they're arguing with here. This person is worried about something being exposed, about them paying to have something done to you or this King of Cups. Okay, that's what they're stressed out about. They pay for, for a hit or pay for something to get done, for some sort of betrayal. And then you have a Libra over here that's saying something. Somebody could be mad because you speak some sort of truth. You could be in this energy here. You speak some sort of truth. It could be you on a platform or something like that. It's like you you having a beautiful home, but you're coming out of some sort of um, poverty or something. You're recovering from something. There's some sort of positive change. Something is being returned. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like you're overcome. I feel like you're overcoming. Yeah, I feel like you're strong in your belief system. You're strong in your beliefs and you're over you're overcoming some sort of diff difficulties here. I feel like you don't care. Somebody wants you to be disappointed or, or, or sad or something. That's that's what they want you to be in. This is what they want. Somebody wants somebody wants to make you miss some sort of opportunity. Or, or, or they want you to get bored or tired of or they want you to yeah it's like whatever yeah something got something got to do with what you do for work somebody wants you to get tired of something you do for work they want to make you quit and walk away from it they want you to, they want to make you feel like it's not going to go anywhere it's never going to go anywhere here okay that's how I feel like somebody wants you to feel somebody could even have somebody could even have some sort of high ranking government job here with the Knight of Pentacles and the High Fine too. Okay, somebody wants you to miss some sort of opportunity. Yeah, but I feel like you're protected. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. You're protected, though. I'm telling you, you're protected. You're gonna stand your ground and defend yourself. You don't care. You're gonna stand your ground and defend yourself. Somebody wants you to get tired or bored with something here. Yeah, I told you. They want you to walk away from speaking some sort of truth. 
is what this is. Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to fight for what you want. And you're going to have victory and success at doing so. Okay. So, okay. you So, you, so yeah. So, there is, there is a connection or something. Or you decide to close something out or end something. Okay. So, something is over over here. Okay. Something is not moving forward here. So, you decide to end something or close out a cycle here. You decided not to move forward on something here. This could be in a relationship here. This could be with a lover. Like I said, something could evolve in Gemini or Cancer could be involved here. There is somebody watching you with the Page of Swords to see how they stopped something for you. Somebody also could be watching to see how they affected you in some way, affected your transportation, affected you getting around or stopping you from... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Somebody trying to prevent you from getting this new beginning. Some sort of passion, new beginning you're getting is bringing this Ten of Cups, this complete bliss, happy, um, wish fulfillment here. I don't know why people be so obsessed with other people's life and, you know, their money, their money, their success, what they got going on. I don't know why people be so obsessed. You see, you're still going to get what you want. There is a wish that's being granted with the star and, and the um and the um sun. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Six of Wands with the star and the, and the, and the sun, it's not going to work. All somebody doing is propelling you to move forward. You're, you're protected. All somebody doing is propelling you to move forward. That's all they're doing. Give me one up here for this um King of Cups over here. Yeah, there's arguments over somebody. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people that's fighting. This King of Cups, it got problems here. I feel like this King of Cups is working with multiple people, or they had multiple people fighting over them because they were sleeping with multiple people here, telling mo multiple telling multiple people the same thing or telling. Most people, you know, like making them think that they're going to be with them or telling them things and then trying to leave people on on, on hold or leave people standing still. Yeah, now they're freeing themselves from all of this. So there could be there could be a king of cups. This could be a Scorpio. They got some sort of drama. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Aquarius. And they have a bunch of drama because there's multiple people that's fighting with this person that they was telling lies to or sleeping with. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody who's non-committal because they're non-committal. This is somebody who's non-committal. And they're very detached emotionally. So they come off, they want to make people think that, oh, um, yeah, I love you. I want to be with you and I care and all this and all this. But they're, they're telling everybody the same thing. This person is working with multiple people. They, they charm and say what they got to say. They come off as loyal, as like they're faithful, as like they care. But they really is really, they really cold and detached. And they're really non-committal. And they say what they got to say to get what they want out of people here. And they could be arguing with this, 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 um, this queen of cups over here. This queen of cups feels some type of way. Yeah, could this person feel disappointed? Yeah, this person feel disappointed. This person feel disappointed. This person feel like this King of Cups gave them a fake offer. They feel like this King of Cups played them. They feel yeah. They regret. They regret because they feel like this person bought imbalance in their life, took them off, took them off track. Um, you know, affected their peace. And they feel like this person is fake. Page of Cups. And they feel like this person is fake. The childish, insecure, attention seeking. They try to escape their problems. They run away from their problems here. There's somebody who likes to drink and run away from their issues and their problems here. This is somebody who always giving fake apologies. They act like they're sorry and they're genuine, but they're really not. They can care less. They don't give a fuck. And this Queen of Cups tired of the air. Okay. Let me see something right here. Let's see what's going on here. I feel like you're over here in your own little world, um, Leo. All this stuff going on, but you're, you're in your own little world. I feel like this Queen of Cups feel like this. Yo, whoever this Pisces or this Cancer is, feel like this Scorpio about nothing but and drama and chaos in their life. <laughs> it's something like that. Let's see what's going on here. With this Queen of Pentacles, I feel. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles here. <laughs> yeah, uncharted territory. New level of conditional love here. Okay. So somebody wanted so this queen yeah. So 
somebody wanting to take a chance somebody wanting to take a chance with this queen of cups it could be a virgo somebody wanted to explore something with a virgo here they wanted to see what what it would be like yeah, because it says uncharted, uncharted territory, new level of unconditional love here, but you, you got addictions. But somebody found out that somebody has addictions here. This person could like to drink a lot. Somebody likes to drink. See that bottle? Somebody wants to go exploring, like Dora Explorer. Okay. Now it's a situation. What's the um justice? Yeah gate open yeah somebody decided to take a leap of faith in the situation yeah, somebody wanting to take a chance with a virgo here yeah but with the with the hermit here somebody discovered that this is your divine masculine though with divine masculine so somebody tried to find a way to steal a step. I, I I said this earlier. I said this about this Queen of Pentacles. I said this Queen of Pentacles, look, look into your birth chart. They found out that you're supposed to be with somebody. They're trying to find a way to steal a person from you that you're supposed to be with. I said that. This is your divine masculine. <laughs> that they found out and discovered this person is a divine, your divine masculine, something like that. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. And I feel like this divine masculine has gotten some sort of clarity on what's what. Let's see what's going on here. It means, let me get one for this King of Cups. I told you. Secret love. This queen, I told you, this queen of Pentacles is arguing with this King of Cups. This could be this Scorpio. Hidden love, meeting in secret. This, yeah, they found, yeah, this because this queen of this queen, see, this queen of cups want revenge on this person. They want revenge. They feel played. They feel like this person faking, two faced it. They really want revenge on this person. This person had some sort of secret lover. There was a secret lover or somebody they was hiding. Somebody they was going to see meeting up with in secret. Okay? Somebody they had some sort of hidden love for. And this Queen of Cups don't found out about it. And they really want revenge. This Queen of... Yeah, I told you. Time with friends. Yeah, introduce... Friends introduce a new love. This is somebody that could have been introduced to them as a friend here. Or these two could have started off as friends. Yeah, divine protection. Somebody's protected here. I feel like somebody feel like somebody also was messing with somebody's friend too as well. Somebody could introduce somebody to somebody and they feel like, oh, you messed with my friend. It's something like that. This queen of cups want blood though. Just period. Just period point blank. They feel like this person fake. They, they're disappointed. That's what this is. They're disappointed. What's this king? What's this king of swords? Yep, leave space. I told you this king. This see this see this king cut. Don't turn into this this king. This king of um don't switch real quick. Don't turn to this king. So they don't cut this person off and and gave this person some space and cut them off. They don't switch up on them real quick. <laughs> Somebody switch up real quick. Yeah, because I told you, because see, they say elude, they put out illusions. They, they they put out fantasies. It don't be real. They don't really be in love for real and none of that. They just be playing the field. What's this queen of yeah? Look for signs. This queen of swords could be saying, look for signs, telling this divine master to look for signs here. Yeah, for their true love. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, addictions here. Somebody could have been in some sort of toxic marriage or something where there was addictions. I feel like somebody's trying to steal your energy. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody's literally trying to mimic you and steal your energy and make somebody think that it's like somebody trying to be you or make somebody think that, like, oh, I'm your person. You're supposed to be with me, and that's not it. Because with addictions here, somebody's trying to make like you got addictions, or that's what I really feel. Worth the wait. Unrequited love. See here, addictions here. 
I feel like you were being protected from somebody too. Because I feel like somebody has addictions. They have addictions. They drink. But somebody know that you're worth the weight. I feel like this was unrequited. Yeah, something was unrequited love here. But somebody know that somebody is worth it. But it's unrequited because somebody has addictions. This is what somebody, I feel like this is what somebody trying to make somebody think about you. Because this is clarifying the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. This is what somebody trying to make because you got the Five of Swords. What's Five of Swords over here? What I told you, Five of Swords, rewrite your love story. See, somebody trying to make somebody, opportunities to reconcile love. See, somebody trying to keep you and a person from reconciling. That's what they go. They trying to get a person to walk away from you. Yeah, but passion, I feel like you're going to come up. You're gaining some sort of recognition or attention, or you're coming up with a with the star, and you're healing a lot of healing here. I feel like you. I feel like you're. Yeah, it's a lot of passion between you and somebody too, though. Let me get this five of swords. What's it? No, what's this page of swords over here? Who this person over here watching? Yeah, heart broke. Yeah, there's a page of swords. Yeah. There's a page of sources over here watching you. This could be a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius that feel heartbroken here. They feel like oh, we can stand through the test of times, baby. Yeah, the past. I told you the past return. This person is going to return. See, somebody knows somebody want to return to you. They're trying to get somebody to walk away from you. But the past is returning here. Somebody feel a lot of passion towards you. I feel like you've healed as well. Perhaps an ex over our past life is coming back around. going on here i feel like somebody had to heal some sort of addictions or something here yeah i told you somebody got trust issues somebody got trust issues but they want to take the leap of faith yeah open for love see somebody see, I, I feel like somebody been dealing with other situations where they was let down and i feel like they thought you was going to be the same or somebody thought you was so obsessed or you were so addicted to them. <laughs> something was wrong that it was unrequited. Oh, somebody thought something here. But I feel like now somebody's coming back and, and their heart chakra is open. They want to open their heart to you now. Okay? But there is somebody in the background that's trying to get somebody to walk away from you and not and not return. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, yeah. And, I, yeah, I feel like, yeah, this, this union is divinely protected. Yeah, it's divinely protected here. Whatever they're trying to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, something wasn't the right time before. It wasn't the right time for you and somebody to come together because they was in some sort of abusive relationship. Something was toxic. They was in a situation, yeah, they had to close the cycle out with somebody they proposed to where it was like physical abuse or something got physical, okay? That's why it was unrequited. This person was not ready, okay? And I feel like you were being protected from all of this. Something like that. Or this is you. Put yourself where it fit, okay? That's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bye, babes.